What's going on guys? So in this box right here is a used Xbox One from GameStop. Note that I said used, not refurbished. If you've watched my videos in the past, I usually buy refurbished consoles from GameStop, but I decided to go the used route this time. You know, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the difference between used and refurbished at GameStop is refurbished is a broken console that was fixed and used was just, you know, any old random dude traded in a console and they just resold it. So like I said, it's a used Xbox One. I'm pretty sure it's the uh, Halo edition. Uh, to be honest, I bought this about a week ago and I don't remember which edition I bought, which I know is kind of sad. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. And, you know, uh, from first looking at it, I'm kind of concerned. I mean, this is not a very professional packing job, as you can see. I mean, it's like a dude just slapped this box together and put 30 pieces of tape on it. And then, if you look on the side, you know, there's a big puncture. You know, that's not really GameStop's fault, I guess. It's just, a, you know, how it shipped. Um, but I mean, it's not in like a, it's kind of like bulging out of the package. It's really weird coming from, uh, you know, a actual legit company. And then you can kind of, I'm not really trying to shake it, but if you move it back and forth, there's not much packaging in it. You can kind of hear the things like clank back and forth. So to be honest, I'm kind of concerned. And as you can see, this is where the shipping label used to be. I tore that off. But let's go ahead and get into it and open it up. Because I'm really, <laughs> I've really been refraining for the last few days from opening this thing up. Because I want to open it up on camera just in case something ridiculous is in here. Because, um, you know, I'm pretty skeptical right now. Um, it's just a sketchy packing job and the things are clanking around in there. And I'm a little bit worried that I'm going to get like something defective. I'm not sure though. We are gonna see. Be careful, it's nice not to break anything on the inside. Alright. Let's see this final side. There it goes again, clanking around. Alright, so we got it open now. So let's see if we can pull this thing out now. So there it is. It's actually in a GameStop branded Xbox One box, like it should be. Um, to be honest, I thought it was just going to come in this box, just the Xbox One, because that's what it sounded like. Um, but here's the packing slip. Let me take a look at it real quick. So here's the packing slip, guys. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, basically, I bought one Xbox One Halo 5 limited edition, one terabyte, and it cost $179.99. And this is the original Xbox One. This is not an S, not an X. This is the original. Um, wow, this is, a, this is a great packing job by GameStop. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I don't know, I'm really confused why they try to shove it in such a small box. And this is like, I mean, this is like something that, you know, someone on eBay would do. But coming from a, like a legit company, it's kind of weird. All right, so here it is, guys. As you can see, it says pre-owned, not refurbished. Congratulations, you just bought a pre-owned system. Uh, basically tells me nothing. And it doesn't tell me whether Connect is included or not included, so maybe it'll come with it. I don't think it's supposed to, uh, but it says Xbox One control or console controller, HDMI, AC cable, and a free 30-day guarantee. Well, I don't have to pay for the guarantee. That's a good thing, I guess. All right, then they have this little sticker right here. Let me zoom in if you can see that. It says SD card removed and reformatted by ET. I don't know what the, <laughs> looks like ET, and then 816, I think. Is it really three years ago this thing was traded in? I'm just now getting it. It's a tad sketchy. We're gonna we're gonna see what's in here. It's still clanking around. Let's just go ahead and open this thing up. This is what we're all waiting for. Oh man. No way. <laughs> Are you serious? They just shoved it in a box and it's been clanking around in the box. No way, dude. This thing is destroyed. Holy. <laughs> Look how bad that thing looks. I just gotta tell you right now, this is going back to GameStop. Oh, man. This thing's just been clanking around in here. It actually came apart, too. Dude. <laughs> That's This is terrible. I can't believe this is what I got in here. What in the world? This is like This button right here is basically broken. Maybe not, but it sure doesn't look like it. I mean, this thing is... Oh, the console's actually come apart. It's been clanking around in here so long that it's separated. No way. Dude, this is terrible. I mean, it's super dusty and everything. Um, it obviously still looks intact, I guess, kind of. I still got the... I think that's the warranty sticker. Um, but ooh, look at all the... Let me just pull off, off to the side so we can see it a little bit better. 
Look at all the scuffs in the back and dirt. And we look at the top. Hopefully you guys can see that on the camera. Let me see if I can get it in the light a little bit better. You can just see all the scuffs on that thing. That's terrible. It's just been rolling around and they're getting scratched for who knows how long. I mean, it's a pretty sick looking console, but that's that's bad. And then as I said earlier, as you can see right here, it's the front part is basically separated. Um, that's bad, man. All right, so if you come back to the box and look at the rest of it, here's the piece of the console that was separated from it. I, mean, I don't really care that much about the power supply, but it's just super dirty and dusty. And then last but not least, the controller, which is like mutilated. This thing is so, I don't know if you can see those joysticks, but they just got like dirt all in them. Super disgusting. And there's like dust and dirt all over this controller. The one positive is they actually gave me the correct controller. Like this is the controller for this console. You know, a lot of times when you get a used or refurbished console, they just give you a random like white or black controller, not the actual special edition. But it is a real controller. It's just super dirty. I guess with the way the, the controller is, none of the functionality is lost. I guess I could clean it up. Um, it's just, as I said like 10 times, it's super dirty. All right guys, so I'm super interested to see if this thing actually turns on and works. So I'm gonna take this over to my TV now. We're gonna plug it in and see if it even works. All right guys, so we're all plugged up and ready to go. And in honor of GameStop, I decided to leave this piece off the Xbox One so that we can leave it in its full glory and you know recognize that GameStop literally just let this thing clank around and break off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Uh, I got my power cord plugged in as you can see, and I got my HDMI cable in. And we should be able to just press the power button over here. Okay, or not. That is, a, that is the power button, right guys? I'm not crazy. Okay. Um, I think this thing might legit just be broken. Because I'm pretty sure Dude, is this is this real life? <laughs> I didn't even try to turn this thing on. Oh, wow, that might do it. All right, so that thing is securely plugged in now. Um, it's actually pretty loose because I plugged it in pretty tightly earlier and it just fell out and I can kind of feel it coming out. But let's try it again. So, three, two, one. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was pretty cool. I did not know it made that noise. That was a little bit startling. And the eject button seems to work as well. Um, now we just gotta wait and see if it pops up on my screen. Let me make sure I have it in the right HDMI plug. I do not, actually. So it's not gonna come on my screen. It should now. And let's wait and see. I was legit thinking for a few minutes it wasn't gonna boot. But here it is. Uh, let's see if this controller they gave me actually works. Or connects to this console. It probably doesn't. Oh, it does. Okay. Press A, and here we go. So it is working for now. Let's go ahead and um, just see if we can skip all this mess. All right guys, so here we go. I just went through all that random setup mess you gotta do, and it is actually working for now. Uh, the controller's working. Um, it's actually, the controller's in pretty decent condition if you don't consider all the dirt that's on it. I feel like I'm gonna have to wash my hands like really well after using this, because just look at all the grime. Um, but that's besides the point. But you know, other than that, the console is working for now. Um, I haven't tried a game or anything yet. There's no game in it, obviously. And, you know, I'll probably do a foreign disc video on this uh, console because this, this console's crazy. Who knows what's going on with it? And I'm just, I can't believe, like, I just can't believe this is happening right here. Uh, but, but yeah, that's about it for this video. I just wanted to unbox it, see what was in it. And, you know, I wasn't disappointed by GameStop because this is about what I usually expect. Um, but let's go ahead and listen to that boot sound again. Because that's... Dude, that's pretty crazy. I don't really play Halo much, so I don't really know all the sounds, so I'm not really sure what that sound is in reference to, but it's a pretty sweet sound. I do have to say so myself. That's crazy. That's, like, I figured this console would have some sort of specialty to it since, you know, it looked pretty cool and um, it was a special Halo console, uh, but it better have something special to it if it cost 180 bucks for this original Xbox One. <laughs> So thanks for watching guys, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe if you did like this video and let me know what else I should buy from GameStop and I think it's pretty interesting to buy these random used and refurbished consoles from GameStop and you know, see what happens when I get them and yeah, I'm definitely going to do a foreign disc video on this and maybe some other videos if you guys got any, any suggestions uh, but thanks for watching guys and hope you have a great day.